Hi guys, Mike here, chatting you through another episode of Doctor Who Series 11 on my rewatch. This time it's episode 2, The Ghost Monument, directed by Mark Tondurai and another script by new showrunner at this period, Chris Chibnall. So, um, looking through it at a few notes here, I thought it was a good resolution to the uh, cliffhanger with the Doctor and the new companions pushed out into space. Um, probably a much better scale to this episode in terms of the South Africa setting as opposed to the Sheffield one of the first episode. No offence to uh, our great friends in the north of England. I think we have that problem when we have uh, locations done in grey misty Wales as well with a new series based in Cardiff. Um, yeah, so the new anamorphic lenses 2-1 gave off a much greater sort of epic feel to this episode, even an improvement to the first one. Um, a great guest cast... Susanna Lynch and the wonderful Sean Dooley really brought, really brought, haha, really brought a great sense of presence to the episode. Um, lots of different situations for the companions. I thought there was a bit of a slow build-up. We still didn't know a heck of a lot of about them. Ryan had the wonderful moment uh, recreating a video game, and there's a little bit more for Yaz to do. And the start of the Ryan and Graham. Comedy duo, really, Bradley Walsh and Tosin Cole doing very well. Jodie, again, a bit of a background character, letting the companions lead the way in this story. Another great guest turn by Art Manic. we could have done with seeing a bit more of him. A decent enough reveal of the TARDIS at the end, but I'm not a big fan of the current console. And overall, really, um, a lot more musical cues now from Sagan Akinola, a big change from what we saw with Murray Gold before. So I did enjoy this episode. I'd say I'd give it probably a 7.5 on a second viewing. And see you for a Rosa review soon. Thanks.